Hey there gorgeous people, good morning from Thaka Bangladesh. I'll be doing two videos for you today and both are going to be individual reviews. Both are going to be excellent fragrances. I bought them recently, initial impression, but I actually got to wear properly, got to test initially how they're performing and stuff. So I'll let you know. So I have one Latafa, other one is a Paris Corner. Both are uh, on the affordable side and I'm going to try to tell you if these fragrances are worthy of looking at, uh, worthy looking at. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is Latafa. This perfume has been in the community for a very long time. It sells like a lot. It's very inexpensive and it's loved in Middle East mostly. Uh, but in Bangladesh, I've been seeing this perfume for a very long time. I tried it earlier this year in one of the shops, but I did not buy it. But finally I have it. It's called Amir Al Oud Intense. Okay, Intense Oud. Sorry, Amir Al Oud Intense Oud. This perfume right here. And I think there is there are other fragrances also called Amir Al Oud. But this particular version I will review today. So this is an inexpensive gem, well within under $20. And this is, a, I think, 100 ml EDP concentration. Once again, Latafa. And uh, disclaimer always, as usual, I'm not sponsored by Latafa. I live in Bangladesh, they live in Dubai. So <laughs> I wish I could go and meet them in the HQ and tell them, can you guys earn something for me? Like, I don't want to pay for Latafas no more. Send me a few bottles, like every day, every week. Whatever you release, just, uh, you know, just send them, you know, like, let them pour in you know because i reviewed so many of your perfumes and they're selling well and i'm just joking many reviewers are reviewing them they are getting views and this fragrance actually have very good value to price ratio you guys know that so i'll uh, talk about this i didn't actually need to buy this but now i realize i i should have got it a long time back very good stuff okay so i'm in good mood i had good sleep yesterday it was long time day today is gonna be a long day as well hopefully without any interruption i'll finish it so this packaging is simple it's written in arabic the name, everything you can read. I don't need to read out everything. Looks like there's some nice uh, design to the side, but I'm sorry, I always do this. You know, I do this uh, thing, very stupid thing. I cannot contain my excitement and they come in bubble wrap. So I sort of like uh, cut and then always have, you know, I damage the packaging and stuff. So sorry about that. Back looks like that. There's holographic sticker. They usually put a tape here. So when you see it sealed, that means it's never been sprayed before. Latafa. Latafa, you guys know, I've been reviewing a lot of Latafas. Their presentations are top-notch. Box on this one is okay, but the bottle I love. This bottle looks like so gorgeous. It's like a chocolate bar, right? Holding a chocolate bar. Extremely heavy, even though it looks very normal bottle. But I can tell you, this bottle, the glass, everything quality is so good. The cap is so good. It's metallic cap. That's my favorite way to show it. Very heavy. And it actually sort of clicks onto place. Very nice. Just you can take a look at amber color juice. I love it's so smooth the bottle feels so smooth very good quality at the base you'll find their sticker so i want to get to the review without talking too much more about the presentation sprayer on these are very good i pre-sprayed this already show you the sprayers very good sprayer no doubt about it excellent distribution the oh why didn't it click sometimes it clicks sometimes it doesn't but it's okay you know so the thing is for 20 dollars budget i actually let me tell you the little story i earlier this year one of the shops called uh, Stop and Shop uh, BD. Uh, it's owned by Mr. Nadir. So he has a shop uh, slash office in his own place. And I went to try out a few fragrances, did review, but this one I smelled, I did not buy it or take it to review. And I regretted it. I remember vividly, I found it similar to some other perfumes, but it was hyped as uh, Mason Martin Margiela by the fireplace, Armani Stronger With You, you know, let me get that other bottle as well. Uh, because I have many other fragrances to show you when I compare this one with others, okay? So when I smelled it, it did not feel like by the fireplace, which I have. I'm going to have a lot of perfumes today to show. This fragrance right here, uh, it's com this is what Amira Lut gets compared to. So I'll let you know if it's a clone or is it a good replacement of this. So it's going to be a little bit long review. So even though cheap perfume, this fragrance uh, has a lot of discussions, okay? Many people told me, Joy, brother, get it. I also ordered Mocha Oud. Uh, that's a good fragrance. I think it's going to be a good one. So upcoming winter, these are going to be some fragrance I'm going to wear heavily. Uh, and I'm not going to feel guilty at all because of the price tag, okay? How many sprays? Let's talk about longevity first. This one, it's not an ultimate beast, okay? Many of you will be thinking, hey, how long does it last? I got decent five hours and half in high heat, you know, like... Now it is raining a little bit, but very warm still. But winter, I'm pretty much sure it's gonna go beast mode, seven, eight hours, so performance is excellent. Price point is good, uh, projection is very good, but control the number of spray, do not go like six, three to four max, okay, for you to enjoy. Uh, seasons, I feel this is appropriate for nighttime, 
summer or uh, in winter doesn't matter but this fragrance will be really good in cold weather this is such a beauty in cold weather so i'll tell you why so what do i get from it up front i did not look at the notes breakdown but it definitely reminds me of a lot of fragrances but it feels like a sweet opening there's definitely middle eastern vibes at the same time it has a smoky vibe leathery vibe ambery vibe spiciness and a little bit of gourmand touch feels like burnt sugar okay and that's why it reminds me of many fragrances i have in my collection it's a little bit of this a little bit of that and a lot of latafas perfumes dna is in this as well yesterday someone told me this one brother in middle eastern uh, countries the sheikhs the arab muslims who pray they love this dna they love this perfume because it's cheap everybody uses it and uh, you know that's a good win-win situation everybody get to smell great smell rich enjoy it don't have to pay so much buck for it so all this good stuff excitement how does it actually smell in uh, air or on others i think on me when i spray it first it's a little bit not for basic starters you know like people who are just starting their game they are enjoying the freshies they perhaps will find it a bit challenging where we are five six seven years down the lane uh, you can actually appreciate it if you actually been through some wood based fragrances a little bit middle eastern a little bit of oriental um fragrance like 24 gold by sense story let me show you some fragrance okay same house latafa ragba if you like this one similar to 24 gold by sense story which i also have i have all these fragrances thankfully if you like this one this is a bit too caramelized bit too intense but what i find similar to is this one latafa's oud mood i think amiral oud is a sweeter and more wearable version of this one uh, oud mood if you like this one that could be a light lighter take slightly by latafa then uh, some people ask me is it similar to ragba oud intense which is discontinued which i love this is a little bit more uh, on the gourmand side this actually is sweeter this is more uh, kalemat black you know uh, 24 gold oud that kind of vibe and this is close to i would say uh, by the fireplace slash stronger with you intensely so i have brought out all these fragrances if you like this one stronger with you absolutely intensely and then I did show the uh, by the fireplace which is my favorite masterpiece another two masterpieces are these two a lot of fragrance i'm showing costume national soul and isimiake lodese uh, noir ambre okay these two are expensive but these are amazing for the amber spices you know like warmth of it the beast mode if you like all these fragrances this fragrance is everything in a bottle uh, but what are the downsides okay first downside is it does not to my nose smell like by the fireplace like more than 60 65 percent okay this is just my imagination maybe someone would say maybe 50 percent okay so this is not a clone of by the fireplace but it borrows elements of the smokiness which this one is known for by the fireplace i got it just for the campsite fire the woody smell the spices man i love this this is a true masterpiece the quality of this perfume is nowhere near this in terms of the smoothness but you have to look at the price tag as well that one is well over 110 dollars right this one 20 less maybe sometimes 15 okay so it has some elements okay if you like that you like this but this is more sweeter more approachable and i think the amber and the smoke it's it's a smoky affair okay if i wear this on my skin let me try i'm wearing actually versace menu fresh so i'm talking a lot i had coffee and pizza in the morning versace menu fresh it's kind of overcast warm condition okay so let me put a little bit on my skin okay shouldn't actually do that so much but i love this perfume so when i spray this i feel this one could be pulled off by both genders women who love this this is sweet it will go perfectly sexy on them and i think if you uh, notice one thing this kind of perfumes uh, behave differently with different skin condition okay so make sure uh, you test before you buy even though this is cheap Man, amazing, amazing, sweet, little bit of orangey uh, sweetness, citrusy up top, but very soon you will get that caramel, the sweetness, the amber spices, all will pop up and the smoke. So that's what I get from this fragrance. It's a chocolatey, uh, warm, sexy, dark, mysterious perfume, which is just so enjoyable. Okay, perfectly unisex. Wear this for your date, you like it. So another downside is that opening can be a little bit harsh. Okay, some people may say, it's not the most luxurious opening like if you see the quality of Isimiak and Noir Ambre, man, it's just a smooth affair. So this is where the difference is a little bit. And also fragrances in the style of 
costume national soul similar juice color right so they are a little bit more complex better built better ingredients but on the dry down if you did enjoy latafa's ur mood dior ur ispahan latafa ragba and then latafa's ragba ur intense this fragrance will be so easy to adapt and welcome in your life i think this is a beautiful fragrance i think this is a must have fragrance for people who are looking for something in this winter even if you pay 25 bucks it's still cheap right and it's not going to cost that much in bangladesh at least but overseas maybe a little bit more so i would say the price for this the value for this fragrance you can pay up to 40 dollars you'll feel you won okay the funny thing is if this was released by a niche company or designer company and they are asking for hey amir al oud exclusive middle eastern uh, collection and this is part of our the previous collection or something and i want 400 dollars for it people actually believe it or not will buy this if they smoothen up the opening a little bit you know like make it rounded like arabian oud this feels like arabian oud quality okay kalimat black kalimat so all the good things that i said this is all that and i cannot give this any less than 10 because of the price value is so good you pay so less to get such good quality amount of juice is great bottle is beautiful juice color is lovely for the autumn fall winter this is a true champion yesterday i said this is one of the most hidden gems in the community and i can tell you one thing get this fragrance you know this is oof, good if you like this style of perfume if you like the example that i gave you can get it but people who do not like oud based perfume middle eastern bit spicy a bit smoky a bit leathery is this one gives me a little bit of vibes uh, if you wear this with a leather jacket man so good so good so beautiful but try before you buy okay that's the one thing it's not going to work for everybody okay if i tried this like 5 6 years back perhaps i would say no this is a bit too on the synthetic side and bit too harsh in the opening which i don't like okay but good quality frank olivier uh, you know if you like those lines this is the same price range lovely 10 out of 10 for amir al oud intense oud check this fragrance out and uh, it's a definitely must check thank you so much for watching time for second review which is going to be also exciting take care